here we are again with another air cooler engine. So this build's actually gonna be my spare parts build basically. Uh, this will be a 1981 ATC 250R. Um, the main reason I want to make this video is because uh, people always have issues with the heads seeping on these whenever you're running them. Now what I've been told, and I've done it, and it, it's always worked for me, is you want to put a thin layer of this ultra copper gasket on there. A little bit on the top, a little bit on the bottom. And just, I put it on my finger and then just smear it on. That way I'm not putting a bunch to where it won't squeeze it on the inside of the cylinder. Do that, and uh, that's backwards. Pretty sure, yeah, that was backwards. And you put your head on and tighten them down to what the specifications of the book says. I don't remember, I have it in the truck. But uh, yeah, I just kind of thought this would be my intro to my spare parts build because this thing is legitimately spare parts. Uh, the lower is actually out of it. The top end that was in this thing, well, I only really have the head left. And uh, it's terrible. Uh, and this is the original carb off the 81. It's going to get upgraded to my 83 stock carb. Um, this top end went through half a season of racing. Uh, this is still the stock carb for the 83. Um, that's going to get thrown on this. Uh, it's going to be a stock pipe for now at least. Um, cause I've, I've never touched this. I've never seen this thing run. I don't know how good the lower is. I did have to clean some crap out of it. I know when I got it. The lower was about all the way full of oil, which I was happy and unhappy to see because it's full of oil. It's kind of hard for condensation to get in there. Um, but I've had this thing sitting in this shop for about a year, maybe. And I just haven't done anything with it yet. And I was like, you know, I got this top end. I was originally going to start actually building my or going through my race engine and see what broke in the lower end of that. But it got dark and it was raining last night. I didn't feel like loading it up to bring it here. But I have had this thing laying around and this will hop end in my truck because it was my spare in case my top end would have blown up. But as some of you know, I put the 300 kit on there. And this is still a stock bore. I think it's been bored once, twice. It's on its second bore, third bore. So I uh, figured, you know, this is as good a time as I need to put it on anything. So uh, if you want to see the 81 build, I guess stay tuned. Um, it's just going to be the spare parts build. Um, it's legit going to be, I think, all spare parts. I know I've got an 82 swinger so I can get disc brakes. Um, I'm going to try to put an 83, uh, what do I call it? Axle on it because, uh, you're, you're not supposed to be able to swap them over, but I've heard of people going from 82 to 84. So I want to see if I can do it backwards from that. Um, not that there's any huge benefit to it, just because I have the axle and I want to see if it will work. If not, I'll run with the drum brakes for a while. So uh, I guess that's going to be that for this one.